Rolling now. Okay. This is uh, very difficult, uh, as I've tried to teach this over the years. It has a lot to do with center connection, meaning that the extremities of your body are being interrelated through your core. That takes coordination, and it takes strength, and it also takes emotional fortitude because we're going to put it in places where your mind is going to go into a self-defense mode, and it's going to go, your spirit's going to go egocentric, you're going to lose an external pressurizing, and the two extremities will stop relating to each other because your center will deflate. Okay, so you got to hang in there, we're going to go slow, but you have to do your best because even in, as I've seen through the decades, slow doesn't really matter on this, okay? So the technique we're going to do is I have me eat, you right? Got, got the idea? Okay, so first we want to get you into the ballpark with you, Kimmy, okay? So if we look, as I am attacking, relax, as I am attacking, stop. My attack is forward and through. Do you understand? Okay, so when he moves my limb, he's moving the distal end of my lever. It is not going to be the case that my body's going to go like that. Not at full speed. Just watch a motorcycle crash. The body will keep going that way and the limbs will go another way. Do you understand? So usually in a lot of Aikido, we, we fake that. We, we, he goes and we go like that. No, only slow. So we want to go fast, eventually. So I have to get used to the idea that he moves the distal and that's what happens. Do you understand? Okay. So this is drill one. Relax. Okay. I'm going to push in and I keep walking and he's going to lift my balance up. Let yourself keep going in, off balance. Okay, try it. So I've already seen acts of disengagement and that always leads to disconnection. Okay, what's the connection? That relationship between the extremities of my body through the center of my body, okay? So as I come in, you see that step right there? That's a disengagement. You didn't keep going in. We see this a lot, all the time. Okay? So, so someone's going to do Kotagaesh, right? So he's going to do Kotagaesh, right? And they got to go. That's a disengagement. What the heck? You know, so I was trying to wrestle someone, and I feel just, please, I don't have control of that person. Okay? So. If you, if you feel the guy, and he's already disengaging, you're not going to do Ikkyo. You understand? So we need to train ourselves for Ikkyo. We have to do the energy print as you get for Ikkyo. And we're just doing this drill. So I will go slow. And I will keep walking in until he takes my balance. I will not go. That's about all I'm going to walk in. You see? Keep walking in. He takes my balance. Not like this. Disengagement. Now I'm not working in my center. Boom, boom. He's pushing on my center. Okay, try it again. More discipline. Okay, so here I have a tatami. This is the center of the mat. Only because I have these two sides and these two sides. You see that? If I didn't have the extremities, I cannot have center. If that, if these two lines went on ad infinitum, I would not be able to have center. Center assumes 
that there are two extremities and they are in relationship to each other as well as the center. Okay, so when I come into the technique, you'll see that my head and foot get like clock hands. When I pull my center out of the technique, because it goes the other way, my head and my feet are not in relationship. They're disconnected. If I just keep going in with my center, it keeps going in, it's being pulled. Oh. Only one leg will be able to come up. You can't go like this. This is going to feel very awkward to your body. The outside leg will be the free leg. Just keep, keep walking and you'll see it's going to be the outside leg that comes up because of how the cross lateral check. Don't pull your center out of the technique. <clears throat> Experience the head and foot relationship. Okay, try it. <laughs> we're getting to equal. So this one, we're going to pretend that the guy's a choo-choo train. He's just on these tracks. You don't have to act like a train. He can just walk out. And I'm going to go out and back in. So my shape in relationship to his line of attack generates a triangulation. He comes forward, I step out, and right back in behind him. Out, in. Out, in. Okay, let's try it. Try it. We're going to combine those two drills. Because I'm doing this triangulation, I'm actually going to add a rotation to what's happening to his center. Okay? So he comes in, and I go out and in. And you see how he turns. Okay? Got it? So I'll show you Kemi. Because I, I have to wait. Speak back a little. I have to maintain that center connection by maintaining the relationship between the two extremities. So I go in till I can't go, and he goes and will stay here, and you'll see I don't break connection. Leave the connection. That connection at this pace will manifest itself with my foot at least glute level. If it's below glute level, you broke connection with your head. So out, very much like warrior pose in, in yoga. Okay? Let's try that. The detail on that drill. If you need more absorption, you can take the absorption, but you're going to go out to get him to turn the other way. So if we do the very first drill, he comes in, and you see how it does that to his body. Stay there as best you can. And now what I'm going to do is turn it. And you see how he ends up there. You guys see that? So we're just doing that in motion. So boom, boom. This is the first step of that triangle step. This foot will go out. We start flanking you. Okay, let's try it. So let's have a side note here for the more advanced people. So where, where, wherever I, I'm touching him, I should feel my feet and his feet. So no, no matter with what or wherever I'm touching him, so that I can affect his mass. Okay? Whatever I'm touching, I should go through that same organization from his extremities through his center 
to the other extremity. Do you see that? And when I find the other extremity, then I know I will always have his, his center and whatever I'm doing. Do you guys got that? Yes, that's Okay, so when I take Ukemi, I'm doing the same thing. So here, I'm touching him. I, I have to be able to feel his feet. And that is going to allow me to not have, oh, let go of me, to not have one foot and I do a balanced trick. I have three feet. There's three feet. I, I can hang out here all day because I have a better stance now than when I stand on my own. I am feeling his feet through what he's touching. Do you guys see that? And he's feeling my foot through what he's touching. And both of us are cutting through our center to that. I'm not leaning on him. I'm just relating through him. Okay? So let's try and do that, Azuke. Go. Huh? Another side note. We don't want our Ikkyo to be an armbar technique. Arm controlling someone by controlling their limb is low percentage. We want to control their body. Thinking wrong if you think you're going to control someone's body by grabbing them. So we don't want to do that. Also, like always, we don't want to be on this stuck in this linear x, y axis world where he's at 12, I'm at 6, and then I go to 12, and maybe I work on the diagonals. That, that's not very sophisticated either. Okay? So if we get him in the last body posture, he's like this. And we have again generated that body posture that allows me to affect his balance, right? So his head is down, and when I push his hip and rotate him, he will fall. So you do your best. Let go of this arm. I'm going to have his head go this way and his hip go over that way, and then he'll lose his balance. You guys see that? If we do it again, and you're going to be very athletic, I'm going to just push you that way, and I don't want you to fall. I want you to hop or do whatever it takes to keep your balance. You see that? Okay? And then I want you to do whatever it takes to keep your balance. Okay? So. This is always what we use. Get him in a diagonal, the head goes one way and the hip will go the other way and the guy will fall. Okay? So, as I go to this technique then, I don't want to go like this. Straight. Because his head's not going on the curve. Nor do I want to do what looks obvious. So my pattern is in, I'm sorry, out, in, but we're going to go that way now. Boom, here. Boom, boom, here. And in my drill, it should end up with his elbow right in my sternum line, spine line, right underneath me. As he's falling, I controlling this elbow. It doesn't take any energy. So, just have to do it as he's falling. If you wait, there'll be a lot of external energy from the centrifugal energy of the spiral. So our drill, in, down, and it ends up right under me. That tells me I had weight over his elbow. Okay, let's try that for a moment. The assumption is that you know how to enter. So you understand ankle angle, knee angle, foot alignment, midfoot weight. Okay, so if you're not entering correctly, you won't have the uh, force factors for entering correctly. So go back and watch that yang video, the lower yang video, okay? All right, so you saw that I, I was doing it with the finger. So clearly the, I'm not using the arm to take him down, okay? So we're gonna check for that. So when he comes to the grab, I don't let him grab. See how I do that? So that means I don't grab his wrist. 
The other hand will do the elbow. And now I will step in. So I'm not fighting the arrow, his arm. I'm fighting the archer, his body, okay? So I'm going to really focus on that triangulation and get my koshi into this technique. I am displacing his base. We can't occupy the same space. Do you understand that? So when I'm actually controlling his arm, I'm not actually controlling his arm. I'm following his arm down. I'm not taking him down. He's falling down. So we want to check for falling down. Okay? If they roll out, that's fine because I don't have the arm. So that's cool. Okay? If they don't and they just fall on their face, that's cool too. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we go, and I'm here, boom, and I'm in. Displace his base a little quicker. The triangle. in there you don't have the figure eight pattern okay so you're going like this and you're going 12 6 and you go straight and you missed his hips you're in the armpit area sometimes you go well I went a little that way but I was in the ribs you got to get underneath you got to get like you're going to do this like not do it okay so Second common mistake is you closed it off. And now you try to go in. There is no in. The tube collapsed on you. You were a bad body surfer. Okay? So time it. Boom in. Time it. In. A little quicker. Boom. In. Okay, try it again. Next two common mistakes. Is you're just pushing them here. I, I'm not using the, the technique. I'm just using that triangulation. You can play with how much, let's just do the one side of the okay. He comes in, or just play with that. I don't need that. You, you see how I'm not using that? Just displacing his face. So I just need a tiny turn, that's it, I got it. Move, that's it, don't use the arm. Second mistake is related to that, and related to the armpit is you're not going enough, you're not triangulating enough. Okay, so think more north south. So north south and let's let go of the arm so boom boom let go of the arm just attack his base boom let go of the arm okay let's go so we'll stop here tonight we're not going to get to the end of Ike. okay but let's combine the two drills with the next step of Ike. okay so he, he's already falling, right? And I just stay up with that elbow now. See that? I'm not going to put it on the ground this time. I'm going to move to keep my center over the elbow as it's falling. I'm not taking it down. I don't have my center over it, so I'm heavy. I have it over it so he can't get up. Okay? And I'm just staying up with it. So I go, oh, my, the takedown is sheer, and I'm just moving with that. You see how I'm doing that? So my foot maneuvers are going to be out, in, and I'm going to bring this around again. So the technique's going round, 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 and around again.
Here's where I end. My feet are under me for today. Feet under me, elbow under me. Some orientation cues. When you come around, boom, you see his face. If I put this under me, my foot is, should be in alignment with his face, okay? So you can think about kicking. Okay, let's try. Thank you. Stay over the elbow. Keep moving to stay with it. It's getting out from under you. Stay up. Stay up with me. You're a little late. Get your thumb where it goes. Hi. Use the takedown. Okay. So you, I don't. I'm not using the arm to take her down. This this position, she's falling. So I just stand up with this. If you use the arm to keep, take her down, your base is going to have to be is being pinned. So you leave it there, and you're behind it now. Okay. And you're always pushing it. You're behind it now. So she's being taken down by this. She's being taken down by that. Boom, you see? You have all your strikes and everything available. You take your Kimmy. You got that nicely, guys. Be alive, there you go. Just stay up with it. Don't use it to be taking her down. Okay, go. Stay up with it, not ahead of it. You're going, you don't have the pattern. It's not all literal on me. Bookworm. In and around. No. It's going to go around you. She's going to go around you. She's not going around you. Thank you very much. You coming in, right? Your head is going to go around me. You see? I'm not pushing you away. I'm not doing that. You're going to go around me. You see? And then I come this way. So the first move is here. Second move is here. Okay? Not two in the same direction. Here you go. To be under you. Under you. In the arm. You've been under you. Let's do the drill. Don't do ikyo. Don't do ikyo. Your ikyo sucks. Don't do ikyo. Just do the drill. Do the drill. Play with the drill. Whoa. Okay, let's go. Try hard. So you gotta wait. So I must be pushing him. That's why he's pushing on me. Better. You still want to control the elbow with that. Hey. Not a four arm. Hey. Don't take the last step. Don't put the hand down. You out from it. You're, You're not you don't have the pattern. Hi. In. Out. In. Hi. In. Out. 
Your feet are going to come together. Hi. Look. Stay there. Come here. Can you hear that? Hi. If you take this step out, Hi. now that hand's not by you. You see that? Hi. But if you take this step by your other foot, Hi. oh, oh, that's so weird. You see that? Hi. And now you step out and bring your other foot over it. Oh, Hi. that's odd. Hi. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hey. 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 Bring your feet by each other. In, by each other. Then out and feet together. Yay! Perfect, good. Feet by each other, to each other. By each other, to each other. Whoops, got out from under you. By each other, to each other. Your feet are like this. <laughs> And unless you walk in like that, then I don't want to see it. Okay? So, in, by each other, to each other. Okay? Go. That's it. By each other, to each other. Don't put the hand down. Don't put the hand down. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Please keep your hand on the elbow. You're in the doctor. By each other to each other. Don't put the hand down. She doesn't think it's Yes, sir. Okay. Is your elbow on there? Yes, sir. Can you even look up if you Yes, sir. Don't put the hand down. Yes, sir. Okay. We have finished the technique. Hey. 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 Hey.